to Nettie's Wind Down. Tonight's going to be exciting, but first I just want to thank all of you guys out there, my wonderful wine buddies. Look, I just want to thank you for all your wonderful support, all your comments, your feedback. It just shows that you guys are interested and in, uh, watching my videos. So keep them coming. I'm loving it. But in the meantime, guys, guess what we're going to do tonight? We are going to do the Jacob's Creek Sparkling Wines. Now, you know I love my bubbles, but this is going to be the last segment we'll do on Jacob's Creek for a while. Okay, so I get to try the three wines tonight, but I know I'm hitting the mark with all the winners because I know I'm getting the lovely feedback from you guys. All right, let's get into it. So, first one we'll be trying tonight will be the... This is the, obviously, Jacket's Creek. This is the Chardonnay Pinot Noir. So, we'll get this one a go. Woo! Okay, so we'll give this one a whirl. Hey, I know you guys are out there watching because you like to see how I get tipsy at the end of the night. <laughs> okay, so before we get into tasting the wines tonight, I'll give you a really cool fun fact about sparkling wine. Do you know what it was made by accident? Yes. This guy called Don Perignon, who actually was a French monk and a cellar master, he accidentally made the wine by, when he put the yeast in, he thought that it had finished converting the sugars to alcohol, but it didn't. And what happened is when it got warmer, the wine produced the carbon, uh, carbon dioxide. So when he went to taste it, he goes, come, I'm drinking stars. So that's where the bubbles have come from. You know when you go and drink his champagne, Dom Perignon, that's who it's come from. Champagne was born on the 4th of August in 1693. So I'm sure everyone is appreciative and thanking Dom Perignon, you know, for his accident. Oh, look, we get to enjoy our bubbles. Who does like bubbles? Okay, so we get to try this one now, finally. Okay, I can smell, there's like, there's a bit of toastiness of, mmm, it's nutty, but you, it's definitely got the citrus in there. So it's got that real creamy, nutty, like toasted nutty flavor through it. It's got the fiber and citrus notes right through it as well, but it's got a, like a real rich palate aftertaste. It's quite nice. This one I reckon will be awesome with seafood. Okay, so we get to try the second one. This one is the Trilogy. Now, the means it has three awesome grape varieties to make this blend. So this one's got the Pinot Noir and Chardonnay and a Pinot Meunier. Yes, I had to Google that, how to pronounce that word. Oh, wow. wow. I, believe it or not, I can smell like, you know, cooked toast. And it's definitely got the um, red currants in it. So I'll give this a go. Oh, wow, okay. It's got like a real creamy, biscuity taste through it. But you can taste the slight notes of the red currant. But it's got the citrus through there. It's got that real clean um, palette. It's quite nice. This one, I reckon, will be good with like um, Thai foods or even like uh, like creamy, biscuity type desserts. I reckon that'd be really cool. Okay, so the third one we've got to try tonight, this one is the Jacob's Creek. This is a sparkling rosé. So, give this one a whirl. <laughs> that went away. Ooh, ooh. Okay, so give this one a go. <laughs> Gotta keep that bubbles in there. Besides it being a beautiful pink color. Okay, so, oh wow. Okay, the strawberries are gonna smell straight away. There's citrus. There's a, definitely that fresh uh, strawberries in there, but I reckon there's almost like a underlining like red currant or, or another red berry there. But I reckon that would be awesome to go with um, like fresh oysters or a really awesome fruit platter. Okay, this is the time for the announcement of the winner tonight. Okay, so that I've tried the three beautiful wines tonight, you know I love my bubbles. Look, I'm gonna enjoy every one of these three, but the one that really like was awesome out of all of them, it had that awesome, beautiful, clean finish. Did I say awesome? I say awesome too much, too shiny. But this one really was beautiful. It, like it had the clean finish, and it also had the three fantastic 
great varieties within the blend itself. So you know it's the trilogy, and I'm not talking about Star Wars, but even though we are drinking stars, this is this amazing. So you guys, if you really want to get into trying some of these tonight, this one is the go I say. All of these were under the $14 mark. Look, you don't have to spend a fortune to enjoy a beautiful bottle of sparkling wines. These are awesome, guys. But in the meantime, guys, I really wanted to say, thanks for winding down with me. I'll catch you next week. Oh my God, really? That's awesome.